Chris Mikowski of Emerging Civil War, and I am at Mount Auburn Cemetery in Cambridge, Massachusetts, at the gravesite of Brigadier General Thomas Greeley Stevenson. Stevenson is the person for whom Stevenson Ridge is named, where I get to work as historian in residence, thanks to the good stewardship of my wife and her family who own the property. Stevenson had started the war as Colonel of the 24th Massachusetts, uh, a regiment that he raised beginning December 1st and was commissioned December 1st, 1861. Now, when the war first broke out, he went to the governor because he was one of uh, a member of one of Boston's first families, and he went to the governor and said he'd like to hand pick people for a full regiment to recruit and the governor really didn't think it would work so they he said thanks but no thanks and then uh, of course after the disaster at uh, Bull Run and the Lincoln administration sent out its call for more troops Stevenson went back to the governor and said uh, sir if I try again and the governor's like mm, yeah in order to meet the quota I'll take what I can get for sure and uh, Stevenson was able to successfully go out and recruit all the officers and and, uh, and recruit all the people for this regiment they'll see their first action at the Battle of Roanoke Island under Ambrose Burnside as part of his forces that land there they will also uh, be invo involved in the Battle of New Bern part of the Gouldsboro expedition in 1862 uh, on December 24th, 1862, he'll get his commission to Brigadier General, his promotion. And uh, he will serve uh, in the Carolinas for a while. He will be part of Terry's division as it assaults Battery Wagner in the uh, action made famous by the movie Glory. Uh, his men will be in reserve. He's in the 3rd Brigade. He's in charge of the 3rd Brigade, so his men will stay in reserve for that. And he'll lead kind of a quiet... Um, career along the, the Carolina coast for the rest of 63 but in 64 he will get uh, reassigned promoted to division command and he'll join up with Ambrose Burnside again as Burnside comes to the east and joins up with Ulysses S. Grant for what becomes the Overland Campaign. The Ninth Corps doesn't do a whole lot during the early stages of the Overland Campaign but they do open a second front at Spotsylvania on the 9th of May 1864. It's on the morning of May 10th, 1864, that Stevenson, unfortunately, will meet his demise. He'll go out and he'll inspect the lines. Everything looks good. He'll go behind the lines into a protected area behind a swale, and he'll settle down with his staff for breakfast. An overshot from the skirmishing taking place in the front will actually arc down past that swale and hit him in the head, and he will uh, be mortally wounded. He'll linger for just a couple hours before dying. Tombstone here, uh, remarkable. Um, you know, kind of beautiful. It says, his country asked his life, his life he gave. On the back side, it does describe him as the son of J. Thomas and Hannah Stevenson, a good son, a dear brother, a firm friend, a brave soldier, a gallant officer, and an honorable man aged 28 years when he died. And uh, to read the memorial book that his family put together after Stevenson's death, uh, uh, you know, the testimonials to this man uh, really speak to his great character and uh, his great potential. Uh, hard to tell what's going to happen um, to uh, or what could have happened with his career. He was certainly one of the most promising of Burnside's division commanders, but that's not saying much uh, considering some of the other uh, company that he has there. Um, but uh, unfortunately, uh, his demise will lead to the eventual rise of James Ledley, who will lead some of these men into disaster at North Anna, um, down in Cold Harbor, and of course at the crater in Petersburg. So a lot of unfortunate uh, ramifications of Stevenson's death. So I've wanted to be able to visit and pay my respects and here today on a beautiful, beautiful day um, could not be nicer. Uh, this is an active uh, plot. There's a, a grave over here where someone was buried 2002, one uh, to the rear of me there, uh, 2015. It says, I would like a cup of tea. I can't imagine what that story is. Um, but uh, to be here with Stevenson, uh, on such a, such a beautiful day and to remember a story uh, is a real privilege and treat for me. I'm Chris Mikowski for Emerging Civil War. We'll see you online and on the battlefield.